Let's do a teardown of a pretty large uh, switch here. This one is also known as Chuck Norris light light switch. This is what he used when he wants to get out of bed and turns on the little light. This is this switch he uses. It's a pretty big switch, maybe around 400 amps, pretty heavy. It's made by Siemens. Let's open it up and see what's, what's inside. First we've got a little locking ring on the top here. That's easily removed. That's a locking ring. There's no more washer here. We've got these two bolts here. We've got the tools here to open the bolts. They're pretty hard stuck. a bit better yes there we go before before I open this one uh, further I will open this one here maybe this one is loose now yes this one is loose just required to loosen up one screw it's spring loaded maybe fly up to the ceiling here we go A lock washer here pretty heavy duty let's open this one I don't think this is spring loaded it's quite loose now Yes, here we go. Can I lift this? Yes, I can lift it up. Yes, let's see what for interesting thing we get out now. Ah, just a rod. Quite large spring up here. Here are the switches, the contacts. What's this? It's some kind of plastic? Maybe bakelite? Some very hard brittle plastic. Looks like bakelite. I think some kind of bakelite. Some thermoset plastic. Here you can see the two contacts here for one phase. Some insulating rods. Here you can see the contact here, the connection with these uh, terminals. The other one should be on the other side. Hmm, we actually got two here. Or is the other connection inside of this plastic? No, it can't be. Is it broken? Yes, I did some closer examinations of this. It should be like that. It uh, switches from uh, power from different sources. So I've got two connections here. We got one brush. I've got two brushes here. This can change from uh, this part to one of these or the other one to that. So it's when you change over like a generator or something or a large battery pack. It's the insulator. I'm not shorting out the pin here. So, so this is connected through here. I thought it was some kind of standoffs in there at first. Yes, one connection here, two connections here. And the other one on the bottom here should be similar. We lift this up. Yes, now we've got the two brushes here. So a similar construction. This should be on this one. This is a switching unit. So this maybe switches positive and that one negative if it was used for a battery pack. Here's the insulator. 
this one brush and two connections and it's easier to look at like this way this is the output on the top here that's why it got to got two brushes like that so you got uh, one off position one to terminal one one off position and uh, one to terminal two so you have one power from this source for example and you're having uh, connected this one here maybe it's two battery packs not to connect to this battery source but using this one and uh, you should not connect the two battery sources together that's why if I have a look in the bottom side here the brush is here now in that position so when this goes in here the power goes this way and when we rotate it out of that it turns it off so now we've got no power output we need to rotate it more to connect it to that one here for instance if this is an AC source one from the generator and one from the mains we don't want to connect those two together those can end up very badly if they are out of phase that's why you always have an off position before you connect it to the other one and actually on the front here you can see the numbers 1, 0, 2, 0 you can connect it from the other to the other one but you need to pass through the off position we have got one terminal that's the degrees it now cleaned up one of these contacts this is a smooth rounding here we can slide into this uh, connections grip uh, remove some coating here this is not brass this is copper coated copper yes now we know that this wasn't a ordinary switch this is a changeover switch maybe for for generator or battery pack and the rotary contacts there are riveted together they are not screwed hope you found this uh, little teardown video interesting thanks for watching and maybe I can find some secondary force layer exciter on these ones.